stealing things. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Sorry it's taken so long, and honestly, I think I actually want to move this slightly down. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think I'm usually pretty warm in general. But hello. Welcome, you guys. And for Aki specifically, first off, it's fine. Lurk all you want. You don't need to... My viewing is not required content. Do I wish it was? Probably not. <laughs> but it's fine that you're lurking, and thank you for the congratulations. I'm glad that I hit it, and it's actually reminded me that uh, I want to start putting on my stream itself um, basically a progress bar to my next ideal goal, which I would say currently um, would be something to do with uh, probably hitting 120, 110. Who knows? Who knows what I'm going to do? But that's regardless. That'll be next time. This time, I'm sponsored by HelloFresh. I've been sponsored for a little while. I haven't really been uh, pushing it as much as I could have because of uh, just things that have been going on. So I'm not too worried about it right now. My current goal is just affiliate. We'll get you there. I will... I definitely need to start being there for more of your streams, Aki. I apologize that I'm not... I get really distracted with other things. I should at the very least lurk more. Just because you deserve affiliate too. Because you're cool to be around. And ideally you will convince everyone to move into Canada. <laughs> uh, anyways... This time, we're going to be playing Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. I have been meaning to play this game for a while, because, first off, I absolutely adore this game. I played this game so much as a kid, and it's just so much fun. It's cute, it's fun, and actually, before I forget about it, uh, give me one moment, please. Uh, heck. Well, I'm going to be busy for a sec. I will go ahead and run an ad so that you guys can deal with an ad now while I'm needing to do a quick thing real quick. And as soon as we come back, mm, excuse me, I'll probably just start getting right into the game. Mm, probably talk a little bit about my history with it while it's booting up. But we'll be back in just a moment. For anyone here, I did run the ad. I clicked the ad button. Okay, you're just crazy. I don't know. I don't know what's up with you. Got an ad for murder? Uh, that's it. That sounds like you. As long as the murder is specifically for Sprigatito. <laughs> I don't know. Mod view is the only thing that I can guess. But anyways, is that? I don't know. I don't actually know, honestly. But okay, I'm going to switch over to a stream.
and we will get started. This was originally a PlayStation 2 game, and I played so much of this game growing up. It was so much fun. It's, it's a cute little game. It's, um... Was made by, as a choice here, Sucker Punch, who... Oh, gosh. I am wildly unprepared for this, as I've wanted. Sucker Punch is most commonly known for Sly Cooper, Infamous, and apparently Ghost of Tsushima are... You can... Oh. Excuse me. Uh, every, everything is going wrong. It's fine. It's fine. But like I said, it's known for Sly Cooper, Infamous, uh... In Ghost of Tsushima. It's also um, mildly known for. They went from developing a game on the N64 straight to the PlayStation 2. On the N64, it was a simple little game known as Rocket Robot on Wheels. A lot of what they try to make is based. is very story based. Turn it down. How's that? But, um, they try to make very, very story-based, very character-based, which on the N64 with Rocket Robot on wheels, they weren't able to do as much. In this game, they try to go kind of heavy on it. It's still a little loud. It's overpowering you. Okay. Alright, I turned it way down that time. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. We will learn a lot more about this game, but if you couldn't guess, this game is about... This character, Sly Cooper, he is a thief. That's about as much as you need to know about this game. Let's go ahead and get started. Sly, come in! Sly, do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Okay. I turned the game down a little more and turned myself up a little bit. Oh god, that's right, I forgot the can the camp Okay, hang on. Can I Ugh The uh, controls are not what they should be. They, the left and right controls are inverted. Actually, I think all the controls are inverted. So I'm gonna be thrown hey, off Bentley, a lot. I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Okay, how is that? Is that better? Also, it's cursed because I am playing this PlayStation 2 game. <laughs> yeah. I am playing a PlayStation 2 game with my Xbox controller. No, I will be fine. I know the controls. But this kind of goes into um, the control stuff that I was talking about with uh, Resident Evil. How in that game, what they do a lot of the time. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention you'll be fried to a crisp. 
So Bentley here is being a little bit over dramatic. Um, the way that those lasers work, you hit them. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. The red door. Oh, I have been delivered a PS4 controller. I'm not going to use it, but it's been delivered. What was he even talking about? Oh yeah, the lasers. The yellow lasers let you know that they there that is an alarm there. Super reinforced line. Maybe there's a way to get around it. <laughs> Isn't it really tough to use a PS4 controller? Like actually plug it in and have the computer register it. Don't you need to download a program or something? For some games. I mean, I could give it a try, see if it works. Way to go, okay, Sly! Well. This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. But, um... The yellow lasers let you know that there is an alarm. It's yellow to let you know that if you touch it, it's bad. If you touch it, it gets really loud. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Good to hear. And then as soon as you touch them, alarms start blaring. It's very loud and dramatic. Um... <laughs> and here comes Carmelita. With the first of her three voices. Police raccoon, I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. I mean, they're Might both PlayStation 2 games. Spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. But as soon as you get tipped by the lasers, they turn red, and if you get hit by them again, then you take damage. This... It, this is a very interesting thing I've heard about this game. Any of you guys ever heard of a video game that it's described as kind of a bad thing that it plays too much like a video game? You can't escape me, raccoon! Also, I will promise you this game is very different. Once again, my the gang and I so get an Inspector yeah, the... to box the slip. I will promise I was that it gets better well she took it. throughout the series. Finally, this the secret the police file I've been searching for all games. these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Roll credits. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... The Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving grace fell into their strikes. filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. And that is the setup for the game. Full-time burden? 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, Murray in this game is a uh, kind of the butt of the jokes. Uh, we'll get more into him as we start playing the game. I don't think we even see him in World 1. Um, but, uh, fun fact about Murray, um, his whole character, at least originally, is that d he's gay. He's just a big, gay, pink hippo. He is more developed than just simply that, I will admit that. In this game, you really don't get much out of him, but admittedly, they do actually take what little you get of Murray from this game and make an amazingly cool character come the next few games. And he even says my absolute favorite line in the entire series, which I will not spoil because it is amazing. So we'll start getting into the game. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. So, um... Something that people love to point out about Bentley is the fact that his voice is basically a constant... It constantly sounds like he needs to blow his nose. And you will hear him a I've lot. I've already plotted a route to our first target. If you're wondering what that sound is going on in the background, it kind of goes into uh, Murray being a bit of a burden. You know, we could go to this place, uh, but he's just sitting here eating peanuts, so I don't think we can just yet. He is getting a lot of calories, though. Oh! You want... One? <laughs> Only one. And I don't even accept his generous offer of one peanut. It's probably because it's not enough calories. I've already plotted a All right, now let's start getting started into the story. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as Chief Machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Sly Cooper in. Tide of Terror. I can turn it down a little bit more. I apologize. I don't know why it's so freakishly loud. There. Should be a lot better. I turned it down from 60% to 30%. So, a I will say that a lot of this game's... Um, don't know why I expected to say tied of farts. A lot of this game's um, design was based heavily off of comic books. They kind of wanted to get the idea of... They wanted to give you the impression of you're basically playing a comic book. The first game doesn't get that as much. They lean a little bit heavier into sort of a Saturday morning cartoon with like the title card coming up for each episode, AKA what we just saw where uh, you get a bit of a background of what's going on. You learn a little bit about Raleigh the Frog and then you get a title card, Tides of Terror. And it's really cool. It gives this game so much charm. Also, it says keep out. I don't think we're going to listen to that. Hey, Sly! I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty-looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. 
I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure. Like that ladder there? That is correct. But do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. <laughs> uh... Bentley comes into his own. Uh, I, I, I actually realized I didn't go into a topic that I went into before um, about how in this game they go with the Resident Evil sort of thing where instead of showing you like designated... But, um, it goes with the Resident Evil sort of thing, where, granted, this game directly tells you what it is, where, you know, if you can climb on something, or if you can grab onto it, it's usually got blue sparkles on it, in order to let you know, hey, you can do cool thief stuff with this, you can climb on it, you can do other moves, which we will get into later. Also, this thing was incredibly creepy when I was a kid, it's still mildly creepy, but obviously not as much. He's just kind of staring at me. <laughs> forever. It is forever staring. How much you want to bet that it's still looking in my direction? Yep, even when I was up there, it was still looking in my direction. It always knows where I am. Forever. You can't escape it. Unless you hit it. <laughs> but it does go into that idea of it's very subtle. You can miss it if you're not paying attention, but you ba Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. Are you done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. We'll start getting into a little more, um... Why this game has the, quote, complaint about how it's a lot more video gamey than the other ones. Um... He also is a bit overdramatic. The searchlights are the same thing. When they're yellow, you can step into them and be fine. I'll even show you. Yeah. And now if I step into the red ones, it'll be bad. But you just gotta smack this thing and you'll be fine. Woo. He tried to curve that one at me. This game goes off of the idea of one hit, one kill. Everything could be defeated in one hit. Does the eye show up any other time? Uh, in this area, I think so. Maybe once, but I don't know for sure. According to my amphibial positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way... It's on. So this goes into a little bit of the game, the design of the game itself, because I don't, I don't remember it specifying, but I remember that this area is meant to be basically the Bermuda Triangle, and so they're basically saying because you know it's pretty common knowledge that the Bermuda Triangle is kind of known for being like a magnet for shipwrecks. At least in the real world. In this world, it is still a magnet for shipwrecks, but it's partially because of Raleigh, where he actually sets up his blimp, which you, uh, you can't see it, to constantly have storms going 24-7, you know, seven days a week, etc. And that's a big reason why there's so many... Nice job so Bentley. far, Sly. 
To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Yes. Thank you, Bentley. I've already... I, this was back in the day where, like, tutorial skipping was not even something that was considered. I've started talking about so many things, then stopped talking about them. I don't even know what I was talking about last. I remember that I started talking about how this entire game is one shot, one kill. So Sly takes a single hit, he's immediately down. Any enemies take a single hit, they're immediately down as well. I think I'm good. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. It is related. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Because there are four clues left. They, uh, oh, I thought I was dead. Oh, thank goodness. It's fine. Sly, Sly wasn't worried. I wasn't worried for Sly. Uh, excuse me. I guess we're going like this. I feel like someday the turtle won't be backseating us. Oh, he won't. One day. The codes are always the same, as far as I know. But, unfortunately, even if you know what the code is supposed to be, the game will not let you unlock it unless you have all of them. Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. And wow, look at this. On the back of the page, there was also a HelloFresh recipe. It's a recipe for sweet corn and green pepper chowder. While it certainly wasn't my favorite, it was good enough to where I actually preferred eating it when I was also having bread along with it, which, with this HelloFresh recipe that we have, it came with garlic bread as well, which was absolutely delicious and going to give a compliment to Kay for doing so well at cooking, so thank you for that. I never thought I would actually be able to go to the day where I can say something and then actually realistically say hashtag spawns. <laughs> and... What we just did in this level is basically what we're going to be doing for the rest of the game. We go through a level to get to the end to get a treasure key, which we need to collect a treasure key from every single level. And inside of each level, most of them anyways, there's also pages to the Thievius, there's also clue bottles, excuse me, in order to unlock um, pages to the Thievius Raccoonus. Which you need to collect all the clue bottles to get to. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you gonna get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. <laughs> so... It It is a bit common in this game that Sly does admittedly get a bit, uh, a bit of a... Uh, he's got a bit of an ego on him. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect 
protect you when you take any damage. And this is actually going to go into... I'm going to do... So, I have watched... So, like, sorry, with that interruption out of the way, I have watched some Sly Cooper speedruns, and we need three total treasure keys in order to Two unlock this. To go. Unfortunately, we can't do anything, and even if I try, it just bounces right off. And I'm not even going to try to go through that, because it's not just one electrical gate, it is several. But I have successfully done an exploit in order to get past this, which I'm going to do, just because I think it's fun. I'm not going to skip these levels, I am going to play them, but I also just want to show this because this, I don't know, I, I like exploits like this. I, I Hey Sly, you can adjust the game camera using the right analog stick, and to bring the camera behind you, click it. It involves this man here. Hey, look at that. So, the reason why that works... <laughs> he's blurbing himself up there. He's very proud of himself. Enemies are very proud when they actually get a hit on you. But the way that that works is that... Uh, the searchlight guards are technically some of the most deadly. Because as soon as they see you... With the guards that you saw before, I can jump over their attacks and such. With the searchlight... Will you let me go? Let me go. I want to leave. Typically, their attacks also cause explosions, which are very, very difficult to avoid. Like, even when I was going off the edge, it still hit me, and I lost a lucky charm. But because of that explosion, it was able to destroy that generator, which is the goal to get to the next one. And I've even seen how to do the exploit in order to completely skip. You can completely skip all of these levels as soon as you get here. Am I going to do that? No, but I've seen how to do it, and I probably could do it if I tried enough. I just find it fun. Into the Machine is the first level we are going to be doing. This level is going to involve... Better close those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Thanks, Bentley. I mean, that actually is probably helpful for new players. But yes, that is the main mechanic of this, is those. Eureka! We're in the engine room! Eureka! My analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning crankshaft all the way back to its source, you'll find Raleigh's treasure key and sabotage his machine while you're at it. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I should show you the move that I got. That is the new move that I got from the previous Raccoonus. It's just a dive. You get more moves like that. Remember, Sly, hold down the circle button near the blue stealth auras to perform super sneaky thief moves. Yes, we know, Bentley. And that that is what I was saying. Ugh, hang on. Don't want to miss you. Want to get all the clue bottles. Every sound effect in this game is just super iconic to me. Now these are going to be a little bit different. They're bouncy. And your goal is to just hit as many of these as you can so that you can collect all the clues. But as long as you at least bounce off of it, you're good. Because it'll fall. 
One interesting thing is that even though this game is amazing and I wouldn't say that it needs much improvement, besides maybe some just jank, I would say. Actually, we're right here, so I could show you. There was an original concept for this, uh, for the checkpoints, where, you know, this is just Bentley being, like, taking a picture and science mumbo jumbo while you come back to it. The original plan for it was actually the checkpoints were going to be two reporters that would pop out and try to take a picture of Sly in order to document his, um, his journey and everything. Because, I mean, he is a thief. He's got his own, you know, file at the police and everything. So, he's got to be at least fairly well-known. And him being well-known is actually something that plays in the story a little bit. But the fact that we did lose that character is kind of upsetting, because that's kind of cool, honestly. It's a really interesting concept for a checkpoint that I wouldn't have thought of myself. Even in this game, like, a lot of the things that you can hook onto and such are, uh, colored very similarly. So that even if it's a different object, like, instead of it being a hook, it's an inner tube like it was just there. It's still the same color, so your brain, um, locks onto it and is like, oh, hey, I can probably hook onto that. Oh, yeah, there's this thing, too. I don't know. Game design like that always makes me start thinking. And here's the big room that I hate. Here we go. You guys like the sound of bubbling? Because that's all we're going to be hearing in this room. Uh, there is more. Yay, I'm murdering rats, and instead of blood, I get green guts. Isn't that so much better? Isn't that just so much better, guys? Than if they were to animate blood? It's like Danganronpa logic. Oh, gosh. Dude, am I gonna... Oh, there's still a good bit more in here. Let's, let's not get too worried yet. Did I miss some? I missed three. Oh. Okay, there's one at least. Uh. I guess I'll see. I, they might all be over here. I don't know. Okay, they're probably all. Yeah, okay. Okay, I didn't miss any. Good, I got worried for a second because I remember last time. I... Damn, jump up on this furnace slide! You better go back and find an alternate route. I know, Bentley. Shut up. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try two two seven. Two 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 seven. He also does have his own little uh, quips for each individual one too, which is fun. Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories <laughs> claim she can move oh, faster right, this rolling one. than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. And wow, look at that! I didn't know this was going to be the case again. Miraculously, there's another HelloFresh recipe. This one is Pecan Crusted Chicken. I think that this one was great, honestly. I had a lot of fun with this one. I don't... I did not personally help with this one. Apologies, Kay. But it is, as it says, it is chicken, which was crusted in, um, pecans. 
and with a little bit of salad on the side, which was also my very first time trying salad. And I would definitely have needed to try a different one, I think, because I don't think it was personally my favorite, but it was still very good. And the pecan crust around it, oh, it gave a very nice crunch to it, which was very, very nice. I know, guy, you're probably gonna get tired of the sponsorships and stuff. Well, they're gonna keep on coming, unfortunately. Because I had a fun idea with this, and I am rolling with it. I am very happy. Oh, yeah, also, we gotta roll. Have you guys ever wanted to see Sonic that's not Sonic? Well, get ready, because I'll show you here in a minute. Not here. But... Dangerous a little here. I'll do it in the hub. I'll do it in the well Yeah, I'll do it in the hub because it's dangerous to do it here. I don't want to die I mean both Sonic and Sly are way too cool They're just way too cool. We couldn't ever compare to them But here we go the fast raccoon roll Rollin', 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 all around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. High class heist. Security's not that bad in here. Uh, I remember hating this one too. They tuck the clue bottles all over the place. Yeah, they tuck it all behind these little nooks. I want to speak. Do I need to turn myself down even more? Seriously, I'm apologizing. <laughs> I, I do not want myself to be too loud. If I need to turn myself down or up or anything, let me know. Like, I can keep adjusting until it's good. Adjust your headphones. Uh, that's right. I forgot about you. He's just gonna follow me. So you know what that means. Just go through it anyways. Alright, well if you're sure. Oh, Raleigh. You're so full of yourself. This is actually a very short level. That w come up to the to that. You can see the treasure key from here. We're already here. Do I need to go around to the other side? I do. In order to get that, and that looks like everything. At least here. Is there one on this side? Yeah, there, yep, I was about to say, tucking them away in every corner they can. <laughs> just stay on the move. They can't hit me if I'm just on the move. No trespassing. I feel like you should have had a sign earlier if you didn't want me to trespass in here. Okay, well, this will be a pretty simple jumping puzzle. Well... Yes, I guess I should put puzzles in air quotes. It's not really a puzzle. Just gotta... Already fail. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. See, we're good. I wasn't worried. 
That time I was worth. He's <laughs> admittedly some of the platforms uh, are not uh, perfect for climbing. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. And stop. Don't worry, Captain. We'll buff out those scratches. You want that uh, old school SpongeBob reference? I haven't watched SpongeBob in years, but all I hear is that new SpongeBob is just terrible. Oh, okay. Well, you really did sound like you were backing. Uh, I mean, I do drive a truck. Can I jump and make it? I can. Nice. Now I gotta go back. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. Dial in four three six. Four three six. of Raleigh's entire operation. Wow, he's keeping wonder, that here? Yes! I can wire this info directly into your binocucom. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. Which is very, very helpful for when you're doing stuff. And hey, look at that. I never would have guessed another HelloFresh recipe. This one was one of my favorites. Pub-style shepherd's pie. With the veggies in it and the, and the ground beef and the potatoes and everything that was together. The potatoes were just uh, the potatoes on top. And I'm not really. Why are the pages spread out like this? Good question. I don't know why. Maybe they memorized it. I don't know. But the pub style shepherd's pie. I don't think. I think most of the prep was the tough part because. Yeah, I, I don't think it took that long to cook, but it took a lot of prep, but it was really good. I will fully admit, I'm not really that big on vegetables. I know Kay can uh, attest that I do not eat the amount of vegetables that I should. This, however, was one of the exceptions, because I can definitely say that, well, it does have carrots inside of it. And carrots, while I do like, I do not like them cooked. That is my big thing, is I do not like carrots cooked. Yeah, but I still ate the carrots in it. And that's to attest for the fact that it was just so good that I still ate the carrots anyway, even though I don't like cooked carrots. And see, this is where we would normally get to the point where <laughs> yeah because i'm not a vegetable person also one part about this exploit is you need to make sure sly see that machine wheel if my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum the velocity joke about this is he's speaking sciency when he result. needs to not speak sciency good might happen if i can get the wheel to spin fast enough isn't that what i just said yeah, that, that's the joke about it, is that he speaks too smartly. But, this is where we can unlock this. And not have to worry about this again. There are still some levels here, though, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep playing levels. What he just said is basic. it reminds me of a... Ah, dang it, I gotta go the other way. It reminds me of the one Jimmy Neutron episode, and tell me if you guys are familiar with it. With uh, Jimmy Neutron getting a job at a, at a place that serves- The temperature's reading way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine. Anyways. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Anyways, um, it reminds me of the episode where Jimmy Neutron gets a job, and he's like, um, I don't know. He basically is like, yeah, I d mopped up that sodium chloride, and the dude's like, uh, don't you mean salt? And he's like, yeah, that's what I said, sodium chloride. It, it just reminds me of that joke, which, I don't know. I don't know if you guys watched Jimmy Neutron like I did. Uh, I think there's actually... Okay, here's actually an example of what he was talking about with having the blueprints. Uh, how do I... Oh, it's that one. Yeah. It shows up as... Oh, gosh. I need to invert. It's inverted. I need to... Uh, options. Controls. Up, aim down. Up, fly down. Thank you. Change all of that. Thank you. But it basically highlights green anything that you need to collect, which is very, very helpful. Is there anything that I missed back here? No, okay. And, uh, you guys can hear me, right? Like, hear my voice? I mean, do that. Okay. Uh. Hey, okay, would you be able to do me a solid and figure out if Twitch changed something where you need to be able to have an account to hear anything? Because I don't think that's the case. Also, fun fact. Oh. Never mind. It was figured out. For context, uh, I invited my Mama Char here, my IRL Mama Char, in order to actually watch the stream. So even though she can't say anything back, say hello. But she was just having issues with a uh, not being able to hear me. I wish I had gotten that earlier. It's okay, though. It just wastes time. <laughs> uh, she says hello, everyone. And it's alright. She just joined a little bit ago. I don't even remember what you said at the start of stream. But I don't know about you guys, but... Um, Have you guys been able to notice? <laughs> uh, it's alright. I, I am a fire spirit or something like that. Or a living log. Something like that. Maybe I'm just on fire. I don't know. You could be literal. A literal answer would have been acceptable. But, um, can you see what people mean when they say that this game is very video gamey? You're going level to level through highlighted markers highlighted green markers that feel like they're just kind of there. And you're collecting clue bottles and treasure keys in order to be able to unlock more in the game. Like, that's... that's pretty video gamey. And... No, yeah, it's definitely alright. That's just... It's always been an interesting complaint that I've heard. And... I don't think I necessarily agree because it's still cute and like they did so much in order to add personality to this game. Uh, I maybe shouldn't have done that, but it's all good.
Yeah, that's what I think. Okay. So, this level is not fun in the sense that all these clue bottles that I just collected, all these, you know, collectibles that I've gotten, I need to go all the way back to the very beginning of the level in order to get this. <sighs> End me now. It's okay, I'm rolling around at the speed of sound with the raccoon roll. Getting back won't be that difficult. It'll be getting back back again. Also, it doesn't help that I bounce off of absolutely everything. I'm unbeatable! No code can stand before me! It's got to be 579! Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. I love the fact that I can hear what he's saying, and I can remember the code based off of that. Because he says he's all own little quips for all of them, and they're all pretty cute. Outstanding! Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus! This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. Oh, yeah, slow down time. I can now slow down time. Can I? Hang on. No, nope, hang on, that's the wrong button. There it is. Oh, well, in the air, that's right. Char Mother is asking if it would be okay for my brother as well, my Char Brother, in order to join. And that is fine, just so long as he understands, because I have not explained it to him personally. Doxing is not acceptable, and um, K, I'm sure, will be keeping an eye out for that, but do not say my actual name, because, you know, it's my actual family that I see for Christmas and such. Um, he is feel he is free to join if he is going to um, be here. I am fine with that. He is free to join if he wants to actually be in chat to say things. That's fine. But just with the big rule and caveat to uh, not dox me. No, make the jump. Oh, I made it that time. Oh, I forgot. We got another recipe from that. This one is chili ginger pork noodles. This one, this one was weird. It's, I had don't, I have not had a single recipe in any of these that are bad. And I, again, K can confirm with this. Yeah, it's, it's the one where I probably would have personally adjusted it because it was full of soy. It was so much soy that it was hard to eat too much of it. Was it good? Yes. I even had some afterwards as well. Ha! <laughs> Cutting disguise. I remember this level. This is a fun level. Um, but... This, it was just too much soy. Was it good? Yes, absolutely. There were bits in it that I ate. Raleigh appears to have booby-trapped this entire place. I'm going to enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Oh, I have to actually hit X to exit that one for some reason, but for this one, um, it has so many bits in it that I don't think I ever would have tried otherwise. It's got edamame, it's got soy, which I wouldn't really have tried much myself. Um, the noodles in it were very good. It has peanuts in it, which I mean, I like peanuts. There's nothing wrong with that, but, um scallions as well like i probably wouldn't have tried much of those on my own without like it being together but putting it all together even with the soy being a bit overpowering it was really really good <laughs> uh here's so yeah this is this is my disguise i'm a barrel 
And yes, they just shoot me forever. And yes, these are fairly deadly, uh, admittedly. But it's okay, as long as I'm in the barrel, which I'm going to get back in the barrel. Because this is where I belong, in the barrel. I don't know, insert something about reference to PewDiePie, because he was all against barrels back in the day. I don't know if he's still going... I don't know if he still makes that so joke. Far, so I bet if you stay still inside the barrel, the guard will be able to see you, even if he shines his flashlight on you. Uh, uh, okay. Well, that's not great. Ah, I didn't expect them to. I didn't expect them to react so quickly. But yeah, whenever enemies hit you, they start doing a little dance. This is unfortunately a case where I cannot do that because he's not moving. I'm gonna look back real quick to make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, looks like that's the only one I missed, and I can grab that in a second. As soon as I... ...do that. There it goes, okay. So one thing that they do a lot in this game, they kind of did it there, where they let you go on top of this bookshelf in order to get above the, uh, guard, in order to make sure that you, uh, didn't get hit by him. But one thing that they do a lot is they put in moments that people instinctively do when they think that they're being sneaky. Uh, they put moments like that where you have a high vantage point, and even if there's other ways they could go about it, like 9.5 times out of 10, people when playtesting the game would instinctively um, just go from right above him, wait till they're right underneath him, and then jump down on top of him. Basically, every single time, that's what people would do. And, I mean, that makes sense. You feel sneaky when you do that. You feel like you're getting the drop on people. And that's the kind of thing that this game tries to do, is it tries to emphasize being sneaky. It does not emphasize it nearly as much as the other games. I will tell you that right now. The other games emphasize sneaking so much more. But it's still interesting. It's it's one of those things that, like, you probably wouldn't have thought of until testing out a game like this. Bop. And another lucky charm to add to my collection. Before I go any further, I'm going to do some jump it up to get up here. And I think that's it for that. I'm gonna, there's some clue bottles that I did leave, but it's fine because they're right next to the safe, which if I'm gonna need to go back there anyways, I might as well continue going forward so that I don't have to worry about getting them later. Okay, did I miss any? I think, uh, besides the ones that I know that I missed, I don't know if there's more. Let's see. There's that. Okay, I did miss some, but it's fine. Everything is broken from here. All the guards are gone. I don't need to worry about any of the, uh... turning into a dartboard, so from here... Oh, that's handy. I didn't remember that. I didn't remember I could just push that open. And then is this it? I used the last clue bottles. No, there's some I left down at the bottom. For me.
I even left a life. What am I doing? I need to be a little more observant. There we go. Here's the next one. I think in each world there are seven levels, I want to say. And I will say that there's going to be a couple levels coming up that do not give us pages of the Thievius Raccoonus. And one of them is, a. Uh... It's gonna be interesting, I'll say that now. Press the circle to enter the vault code. With the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial in 242. I went the complete wrong way. Two. Two. Or two. <laughs> Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking fast collecting action wow really and you went on to youtube and all i saw was cake what do you mean all you saw was cake because all i see is another hello fresh recipe the cranberry dijon pork tenderloin The Cranberry Dijon Pork Tenderloin, which I'm going to say that personally, I am very much a, uh, a meat person. If there's meat in a meal, even if I don't eat all of it, I will eat the meat. And the sauce that came with it. Hey, because I wasn't there for when you cooked it. Would you be able to tell us any more about the sauce? It's, uh, I think it... I don't know, because some of it is saying cranberry jam, chicken stock concentrate, gray, popon Dijon mustard, all of that stuff, I assume, went into the sauce that went with it, and while I don't know exactly what it is, it was absolutely delicious. Astonishing! All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way up to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you had to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's-its? You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. I am very concerned about what might be an issue with a thumbnail. Is there just two left? I think there's just two levels left. That is correct. There is only two left. There is also an exploit that you can do. Um... It has something to do with... Ah, let me move. You have to stand right here. And there is... If you watch when I jump, as soon as I hit the ground, there's a little puff of dust. If you jump on the perfect frame, you will not get a puff of dust. If you don't get a puff of dust, which I'm failing to do because I haven't successfully done this personally, if you could stand behind the cannon and not get a puff of dust and jump all the way over here and jump into the water with a lucky charm, you will successfully launch yourself back because the way that it works with launching you back when you have a lucky charm from the water is it launches you back to your last known location. If you jump without making a dust cloud, your last known location is back here behind this cannon. And if that's where it is, you get sent through the cannon, which activates the little... Essentially, it's one of the markers from the other levels. But if you activate that, you get shot into Raleigh's blimp and get to start that without collecting a single... Well, while only having collected one treasure key. Also, I will give Discord a look as well to see what's going on. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. That, uh... <laughs> I definitely should not be on YouTube, I would say. But, you know, YouTube's kind of picky on what it actually does and does not, uh... scan for that, because... You know, as long as it makes YouTube money, then... That's, that's what it does. Also, I didn't mean for this to be the case, but I guess the last level is going to be the weird level. Admittedly, um, that is a common thing throughout all of the levels, is that all of the bad guys basically give little speeches over the intercom. It's to, one, like, sort of establish that this is their domain, but also, um, I'm gonna use the Panaki com in order to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't believe I did. Cool. But, um... Raleigh's, admittedly, is, uh, a little harder to hear, uh, if I'm being honest. Ra Raleigh's kind of, uh, Raleigh's a little bit on the forgettable side. He's the first boss, he's not established as much, um, I, I don't know, I I'll give him a pass this time. The next one, the next guy that we see, though, be ready for him, he is a good one. Also, uh, yeah, you, you want to talk about those eyes again? Yeah, they're, they're just staring at me. I can't do anything about these. Oh, uh, okay. I did not even see him. I need more coins. Give me coins. This could be a problem. That was a little scary. It's fine though, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Sick. Oh my gosh, it's another eye. Actually, this is probably the same asset as uh, the eye that stared at us before, but just not colored. Did I miss any clue bottles? It's not looking good. good. Ow. That did not work as well. Okay. First, uh, first life lost, guys. Are you disappointed in me yet? Like I said, this is, uh, one shot, one kill in this game. So unfortunately, if I get hit, uh, that's it until I get another lucky charm. At least I don't need to collect the blue bottles again. And there we go. Now he didn't actually bite us this time. Oh, and I already got it. Well, look at that. And we're done. Seven one nine. Oh, you're lucky, Sly. This page features Karen Cooper Gila's coin magnet technique. Oh, 
thank she goodness. All she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. And look at that. We found another HelloFresh recipe. Have I sold you guys on this yet? Well, this time we got firecracker meatballs. This one was one of my favorites, honestly. Again, I'm, I'm a meat guy. Anytime it's, like, meat-focused, I will like it. But goodness, the meatballs were amazing. Ugh. And, I mean, heck, I think that this was even the first time I tried the asparagus that came with it. Don't quote me on that, because I don't remember what recipe we had that did it. But everything was seasoned well. It was cooked just right, and... Oh my goodness, the meatballs were great. And I don't even remember what sauce was on it exactly. It's looking like... Let me see if I can find it. Hmm, excuse me, I am so sorry. It was green beans, was it? Oh, it was green beans. It looked like asparagus. That's, that's my bad. But the sauce was a mixture of mayonnaise, sour cream, and honey with a teaspoon of soy sauce. I know, but I was looking at the picture first, because I don't want to sit here and read it. I want to be it as fast as I can. But the sauce mixed together was absolutely incredible. Like, all these sauces are stuff that I never would have thought that I would have tried. You're going to hear that a lot. All of this is stuff I never would have thought that I tried, would have tried. And yet, I ended up loving it. Uh, let me go get this life to make up for the one that I lost in that level. Well, here. At the very least, we won't need to worry about a recipe in this one. Treasure in the depths. There's always at least going to be one level per world that has something like this. And frankly, this is not a fun one. We have to hate crabs. Okay, make sure Crab Post isn't here for this. Yeah, this is a... This is weird. We're collecting the treasure chests by shooting them. Where would you guys expect to see logic like that? Where in order to collect some treasure, you need to shoot it. While also shooting crabs. At least this logic is less weird than a level later on that is probably the most hated level in the oh god no I think I got it okay look okay. nope 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 thank you for blocking it mr. crap ah! This gets weirdly intense. No. 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 Ugh, I hate this. 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 No! One chest left, one! Come on! Congratulations, uh. you did it! <laughs> I hate that level, by the way. I really actually do hate that level. But again, it is not the worst level in the game. And now we have collected all the treasure keys, which means the cannon is unlocked, which means... Raccoon Cannonball. Not only are we being shot out of a cannon, but we're being shot through reinforced glass. Sly's dead. 
I'm just saying it now. The rest of this game is just a fever dream. While Sly sings to the bottom of the ocean. How delightful! We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine. You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. No, oh, Sly, where were you there? Alright, guys. First boss fight of the game. Are you ready to fight Raleigh? One hit down. <laughs> So, how about that airline food? It's not as good as HelloFresh food, but you know, it's okay. It suffices. I expected him to, yeah, I expect that. All right, final hit, you guys ready? Shot my villainous cohort in Utah. You will see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. One down. Mystery, mysterious figure once again eludes With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. Very excited. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can, we're all set to go to Mesa City. I am not quite ready to go to Mesa City, actually, because I want to grab a drink. So I'm going to grab a drink real quick. And while I do, uh, Oh yeah, we, we can watch Murray. I will leave it here on Murray while you guys can watch him dance and I'm going to run an ad while I run to grab a drink. So I will be right back. Hey, let me know if you get an ad. <laughs>
How dare you not get an ad? How dare? But anyways. We're all set to go to Mesa City. I'm going to start this and then while it's playing, I'm going to see about uh, switching the controller. Because I still haven't used the PS4 controller, so I'll give it a shot. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. <laughs> a neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Sly Cooper in Sunset. Well, okay. Uh, controller is not working. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a negative on the controller. Yeah, maybe I'll experiment with it later. Wait a second, hang on! I forgot! have a control I completely forgot about it. it's been so long honestly but I have a controller now I'm gonna use this and here we get another hey, tutorial Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy this looks more like a ghost town something's happened where is everyone I don't know but it's starting to give me the creeps what do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, Liebeth Lively impresses the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Yeah, the game at the very least does try to have fun with the fact that the instructions are just jump, press the circle button. But hey, we have new, we have new toys to do, to play with. Also, yeah, I know it does not match. It's fine. I can maybe adjust it later. Well, uh, it's not a priority. Honestly, just the fact that I'm using a controller at all, like, I completely forgot about that, and I shouldn't have. This is cool, and I need to use this more. In speedruns, the speedrunners use that dog specifically in order to skip a large portion of the, of the level. Okay, I made it. No, stop, stop, stop. Okay, reset. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay. 
And we made it once again. I don't know. You guys tell me. This is supposed to be a mattress, obviously. If a mattress bounced you this high, would you like it or would you hate it more? I feel like that would just be an objectively worse mattress. And crash. Now, here's, here's an interesting thing to keep in mind as well. Um, because this is, uh, now a new area, Mesa City. Okay. Those flashing lights. The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Anyways, because this is Mesa City and no longer Raleigh's hideout, um... Ah, dang it. I can bring up the Binocucom, but I do not get any information anymore. I have to actually get a piece of the Thebius Raccoonus in order to be able to actually, you know... Uh, see objects and clues and stuff. How, how are the themes vibing with you guys right now? Because last time it was a, a lot of sea creatures. We got a Cthulhu-like squid man. We got a... We got otters and walruses as some of the enemies in the last area. And now the enemies are all dogs. But even though they're like new enemies in a new area, they're not just reskins. They do completely different things. Like that one, as you saw, was throwing playing cards. We have um, dogs which do charge at you, which is something that the last area did. But instead of just charging at you, they charge forward and then slap back because they're on a leash. Which also has to get into the fact it's it's like the goofy thing. Goofy and Pluto thing, where Goofy is a dog, but so is Pluto, so why is Goofy, like, a person dog, and why is Pluto a dog dog? Like, gets into stuff like that. Uh, there's nothing here until I get the rest of the clue bottles. Yeah, you were trying to be sneaky. You tried. You did your best, buddy. Ow. Every single enemy has their own little animation for when they hit Sly, and they're all adorable. I mean, annoying because they hit me in order to do it, but adorable. Okay. More swinging, more lasers, and more fun. It's fine. Whoop. And smack. And I need three more. Will you give me all three? No, I am missing one. Great. Just fantastic. Well, I need to go back anyways, so... Camera. Camera, okay. And at least, it'll ha at least going back, they make it so that you don't have to deal with the lasers, which is very, very nice. any here. I hope I am not just absolutely blind. I mean, I am absolutely blind, but I hope I'm not absolutely blind in this circumstance. Oh, please don't be all the way back in the beginning. 
Oh, there it is. Okay, thank goodness. It's just this one here. I didn't need to go that far back. Okay. And now, let us go get our very first... Uh... Let us go get our very first page of the Thievius Raccoonus in Mesa City. Press the circle to enter the vault code. He does still have to finish that every time. A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in 314. Alright, I guess I'm going this way. 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uncovered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique. <laughs> right, use this the one's great. Button to toss your cap, then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. And on the back of this one, we have brown sugar bourbon pork meatloaves. This, I believe, was the first time I tried broccoli and I am a meatloaf person. I do love meatloaf. Again, I went on about how I am definitely a meat lover. This meatloaf was very different from what I'm used to. Any time that I've had meatloaf in the past, made by my mother, it has had a specific taste and texture to it. This one, I, I mean, I, I will say none of the, none of them is bad. It was just so much different than I expected. But it was really good. The sauce on it and everything was very nice and it went really well with the potatoes. And I was definitely a big fan of that one. And that is very first level of Mesa City down. Lula, thank you for the raid. You just missed my very latest. Oh my gosh, go down to the bottom. You just missed my very latest uh, page of the Thievius Raccoonus that I collected, as well as. Well, this mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how is it? Mu it might to not find be worked. I, I don't think I have everything place. set up since I started yeah, using stream bulldog. elements, so forgive me for that. that he to live in a giant forgive me, house. Lula. I We should That's shout you out very much, so. Now you just need to find a way to break so into the let me... Space. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Da da da. Oh, God! Ignore that. It's fine. <sighs> Oh, he's still after me. We're not going to talk about that one. We're, we're not. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let me do this first, then, before I do anything. And pop. <laughs> never forgiveness, never. You're right. I should not. I should not be forgiven. I hope you will forgive me by posting your Twitch in order to at least do somewhat of a shout out because that is the best I can do right now, unfortunately. I will have to. I, I will be working on stuff tomorrow. So I'll probably have to set that up right after I beat up some more dogs. So from now on, greet any visitors you 
Oh, Mugshot, you're a fan favorite for a reason. Also, if you're curious, here's the explosive hat. Bop. It explodes. That's about the best I could say. Thank you for attempting to at least do the shout out, though, Kay. Uh, I'll have to set that up so that it actually proper properly works later. <coughs> but we've just been playing Sly Cooper, and since this is the official stream where I am uh, shouting out my sponsor, HelloFresh, I have been, um, whenever we find a page of the Thievius Raccoonus, we've been finding that they also have a page with a HelloFresh recipe on the back of each page. How nice of them, right? Who knew that the, the Cooper family was also such great cooks with such nice recipes? That is also why I've got my hat on, because while I'm definitely not the chef here, I do help as much as I can. So, I think I'm going to start with a level that is going to be very different. Actually, no, I'll do a normal level. I'll do a normal level to start. I won't do anything too, too crazy. Boneyard Casino. Oh, this level. I used to hate this level as a kid, but I actually love this level now. This level is great. Nice job getting in, but look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. Uh, yeah, he certainly has. All right, well, we're just gonna ignore that one. That one didn't happen. You, Bentley, I'll worry about me. You worry about blowing your nose. You know what? Why don't I do something a little bit more fun for this one instead of just killing them? Well, watch. I'll put my hat there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It only got one. All right. Well, I expected it to get both. It's fine. We'll, we'll just pretend that I got both of them. Just pretend like it happened because obviously it did. It, I, I wouldn't lie to you guys. I wouldn't lie and say that it the, my mind killed both guards when it actually only killed one. This level is actually really good for getting a lot of coins because, you know, we got lots of slot machines. We got lots of money to get. And also, lots of places for them to hide clue bottles. Okay. Will this work? Uh, mm, eh, do I want to risk it? Why are, are are you okay, dog? I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it like you're normally supposed to. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We don't gotta worry. It's fine. No, grab the clue bottle first. Ah, yes, here's a very specific example. In the post commentary for the game that they have, they show that exact moment for where you can technically jump and, like, go anywhere around the guard that you want. You can sneak up on them or anything that you want. What do players do, though? They don't do that. They jump directly on top of him. I don't think this is supposed to be where I am. Come on, get up here. They're hiding them in the plants too. Nature never deserved anything like this. 
Nature's not a clue. Many coins. Many, many coins. I thought it would give you clue bottles, if I'm being honest. But I guess there's several around here, so... Probably would be a little excessive. Uh, okay. I was stuck for a second. It's fine. Oh, all the money. This is where you get all the lives and all the clue bottles. Oh, that's a problem. It's okay. It's only a little loud. Okay, and that's all of them. I gotta remember to do the roll. Yeah, he's he's really big. He skipped leg day. He don't got good legs. So, might as well not have him to begin with. Whoop. Didn't remember you were there. I just spit on my hand a little bit. Don't mind that. So, this area feels a little bit redundant, if I'm being honest. Not the area itself, but the fact that you step in the water and you already take damage or die instantly. This area decides to up the ante by making it so that not only do you, like, die from hitting the water, you also die for, because it's electrocuted as well, which just feels redundant because water already kills you anyways. So, I don't know. Apparently, this is the stream where I decided to talk the most, which I guess for what game it is makes sense because I cannot stop talking about this game. But I can already feel my throat getting a bit uh, sore from all the talking that I'm doing, which feels weird because I try to talk as much as I can, but I guess I don't talk. Yep, see, I would have already taken- I would have taken damage anyways if it was just normal gameplay. But I took damage by electrocution, I guess? I don't know. It seems redundant to me. These roulette wheels are going to be important for later on as well. Oh no, please don't tell me I didn't get one. Please let- oh. No! No! There's one! Why did I have to miss one? Uh... <sighs> I don't think I can even go back either. So I guess that means that I'm just gonna restart the stage. Posture check? Alright. Yeah, I probably needed that. I need to sit up and crack my back. Well, back in we go. Do I still have all of them? I do still have all of them, except for one, so I gotta find that one single clue bottle that I missed. I can't jump up there. Okay, that helps. Oh, he's still at Okay. And I set off the alarm with my uh, corpse, so that's fun. These three dogs at the very beginning are really good at taking me out, apparently. Mugshot needs to give these guys... Okay. There's four of them now. Oh! 
Yeah, lucky charm, I'll say. I somewhat clipped that. I have n I should not be alive right now. I will be straight up. I should not have lived. Back to having two clues. Okay, I do not see any more clue bottles around them, so I think I'm good. Just gotta speed run. Speed run this level. Is it around here, maybe? Because there's a lot of foliage and stuff around here. So it's very... It's very likely that I just missed it in the trees and, stu and stuff. It was right here. It wasn't even hidden. It was just right there. Listen, guys. Listen. I played this game plenty. I mm, just, just don't look at me. Just, just ignore the rest of this. Ignore the rest of this stage. It's fine. Thank you for the clip. Lucky, I did not, I cannot read it all, but lucky something. Lucky charm, maybe? I see lucky C. That's all I see. I see, I see. Oh, I could just jump over that, apparently. Yeah, I go away. Okay. Uh, here we go. Man, I'm getting swift with deciphering these codes. Dial 338. Three? Three? Eight. Okay. This page is from your hyperactive ancestor, B.F. Cooper. He discovered a way to speed up the clock. Hmm. Perfect for those long stakeouts. B.F. Cooper. Just hold down the triangle button to use it. And perfect for B.F. Cooper is mozzarella and herb chicken. A lot of these are chicken based. And let me tell you, I love me some chicken. I'm just gonna exit level. I already have it. I don't need to come back in. It's fine. I can double check to make sure. But the mozzarella and herb chicken, let me tell you, chicken is already good on its own. You add herbs to it, it's even better. You add mozzarella on top of that, I'm already melting. Just like the cheese on top of the chicken. But now, now that we've done that, I am now going to... Go ahead and play this level, which is going to be a very different level. There's actually three levels in this stage that are very interesting. And you can tell. You'd be surprised how much a log can melt. But here, as you can see, this level is going to be based around Murray. Remember the person who's just a here to get in the way, I suppose. Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. Oh, I best. forgot I could do this. I could use the analog sticks to... 
And go. Time to move, Sly. By the way, shooting Murray does hurt him, and he has your lucky charms. So if you're not careful, you can shoot him. It's a little sensitive, too. Uh, I did not think he was close enough to that. Okay, so he's got one extra hit on him. Cool. And someone's gonna start coming from here. Murray, don't block him, please. Oh, God. Ooh, I have to be so careful. Oh, I hate done. Half done, you hear that, guys? Half done. That one's supposed to trick you. You cannot spam fire in this. You will hit Murray, okay? And you also have to be really careful because it's not as sensitive as it feels like it sh it's really... Oh, you are fast, okay. I'm almost done. It, like... When you move to aim... Huh. We did it. When you move to aim, it like sh it m it feels like the cursor has momentum to it. You move it to the left, and when you let go, it's like a second after you let go that it actually stops. It's really weird. But there is your very very first experience with Murray on the field. There will be more. And in fact, there is another example of that in this world, here in Mesa City. Now let's see where I'm going to go next. I heard bow wow wow. I don't... <laughs> I don't know if that was from him or the music. Alright, where's this? Hey, we just saw Murray again. Now we're about to see him again. Okay, okay, but this this music kind of slaps, not gonna lie. Well, I drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack, and the next thing you know, I'm getting that hot dog has a face. By these gangster dogs. Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah. Three times around the track for a key. It's all you, man. Drive the van with the left analog stick. And if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get him. I'm on it. Go get him, guys. Let's go, Murray. Oh, okay. I for uh, I think I did the exact same thing last time, too. It's old. Ugh. These are hard. These are legitimately really hard. You do not have any traction, and it's a uh, it's sad. He is the getaway driver, though. And there's no shortcuts. You just gotta drive better than the AI. Which I will tell you now, is very hard. Get past two more people in one lap. 
in order to be able to win this, and I don't know if I'll be able to do that, if I'm being honest. Maybe. He didn't pick up the nitro, thank you. Playing music while we're going. Come on. Come on. Ah. Those crummy dogs are no. me right and left. We'll get back in there and bang them back. We need that key. Uh, okay. Take two, I guess. I always have struggled with this. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. He threw me into the fence, unfortunately. There wasn't anything that I could do there. I was just hoping and praying that I would be able to push past him right at the very end. He's pushing up against me and I'm not happy about it. Wreck your own fellow drivers. Push me, yes, push me, he's pushing me. My thumb is slipping off the joystick and I hate it. I missed the nitro. basically in the same position as before, which is not great, and I keep missing all the nitro, which is even more not great. Okay, the, okay, he grabbed that one, apparently. Go, okay, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna win. He's really far ahead. Start now. Take three. No, stop taking the nitro that I keep missing, anyways. Third time is the show. Oh my gosh, stop taking the nitro! I don't even hit that nitro anyways. This is already looking terrible, and I don't like it. Big jump. Move out of my way. Okay, just take my nitro from me, thanks. The person in first is just so far ahead. I don't even know if I can catch up at this point. I have a lap to catch up. My back wheel got that one, and I'm glad that it did. Stop pushing me! 
third time was not the charm. God, how on earth do speedrunners do this? They just are in first, first, like, first lap and just stay in first the entire round. How on earth do they do that?
Huh. Murray, I never want you to drive again. Alright, and now it's time to break in in the stealthiest, quietest way possible. Master Thief, everyone. Four, so there are three levels here. Which I think is accurate? There's one... Two... Three. Yep, okay. Oh, I'm lightheaded after that one. Knock. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a. Huh. Oh, okay, good. This level. And rip whoever was below there. I know they look like you can't climb on them, but with your thieving skills, I bet you could pull it off. I cannot. Well, okay. forget it. Your cane will never smash that thick glass. You'll need something super heavy, like that big wrecky ball up there. Destruction. I like that. Destruction is nice. I am always for destruction. Just is exactly why I enjoy breaking all these things. Ugh. Yeah, no. Uh, I, pro I think I spoke a little too soon. I forgot how much I absolutely despise the car levels. And yes, unfortunately, there are more. Thankfully, they only did one more level where you have to actually drive a car in a race. I am so glad they did not do any more than that. Uh, I got a headache. <laughs> uh, after this level, I might take a quick fiver to grab myself a bite to eat and uh take a little bit of medicine because oh after that I that it, it, admittedly that was one of the worst attempts I've had in doing that because I've done it where I've like gotten it within a few tries I think I, that's probably how I did it the first time when I was playing on my own before This time, man, oh man, it was awful. My luck, I, I had all my luck with taking out those cards in the previous level. Previous level, the actual sly level that I did. I need to be extra thorough here because I know for a fact that last time I played this, I did miss some. I did miss some of the clue bombs. I apologize for how I am getting. How is everyone doing? How is everyone enjoying Sly? If there is anything other than positive, then that's honestly fair. After that level, I would be pretty negative. I mean, I am pretty negative, honestly, right now. After that, I... Ooh. I I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go back to the positives here. Because Mugshot is a fan favorite. He is a fan favorite villain in this. And that is why 
Everyone loves him. Everyone loves seeing Mugshot wherever he is, and they love hearing him. He's just fun. He's, you know, pretty brutal and will smash your face in if you, you know, talk badly about him or his mother. But he's just fun. He is a cool, cool dude. He's just been through a lot. He's probably the biggest example of a villain that uh, has a tragic backstory, I will say. He probably garners the most sympathy from people. And maybe that's part of why people love him so much. Hi. Go away. I think that there is level down there. You fell into level. I don't know how you hurt someone, but congratulations, I guess, Mr. Car? Sure, we'll go with congrats. I think I'm doing good. There's still a bit of level left, so I don't think I missed any, thankfully. Somehow. I got a voice or message for the two minute thief who's making off with all my treasure keys. You dead, Pally. If I get my hands on you, I'm gonna fit you with your own pair of semen bunny slippers. You hear me? Your lunch mate, Joy! Your lunch mate, Joy. I can't, I can't do his accent. Nobody can do it as well as him. And there's two more, and then there's one here. And... No, don't tell me I missed one. Don't tell me I somehow missed one. I was trying to be extra careful. Please tell me there's one in here. Oh, okay, thank goodness. Oh, it feels like it's been a while since we've seen a page of the Thebius Raccoonus. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. Dial in 468. Uh, four? Uh, six, eight. You found the blueprints for Mugshot's additions to Mesa City. With and here's files, where we can I'll finally see find where we're able to finally Just all the clues and breakables. To get the information. And look, on the back of it is, I'm gonna say again, Probably one of my favorite HelloFresh recipes, the homestyle turkey and biscuit pot pie. This one was very similar to the shepherd's pie. This one used turkey instead of ground beef. What? And also instead of potatoes on top, it used biscuits, which you covered in a like buttery, garlicky, um, oniony, whatever. Um, uh, seasoning and sauce and honestly because of that because I love biscuits personally this one was probably one of my favorites it's not uncommon to have like you know meat and biscuits and have them together I've never had it in something like this before and it was just basically combining two amazing things into something even better and it was amazing. And once again, Kay did an amazing job cooking it. Oh, and when and when the when the biscuits on top got all nice and cooked and a little crisp, ooh, that was really really good. I'm going to get to the next level, and then I'm going to take a short break, where I'm going to 
go get myself something to snack on a little bit. Because after that, I need a little bit of a break. But I will come right back. It won't take long, I promise. And I'll run an ad for you guys as well, which I know is your favorite. Back Alley Heist. This is not the level I was thinking of. It is not. Okay. But I will be back. So you guys have fun seeing ads. Actually go to the BRB script. Fine. If I have to.
we did indeed make ramen. And I am going to attempt to have some. This is not at all a part of the HelloFresh sponsorship. However, it was good. It reminds me of the yakisoba that I had, um, where I could just buy it. And it was really, really tasty. And it was basically just mac and cheese, and I really, really liked it. So I'm going to have some more using my chopsticks, because I'm practicing using those. And you are absolutely right. It tastes exactly like mac and cheese. Or, well... Mac and cheese ramen, anyways, and it's very good. I could not see. You. But we're back into it, and we should be able to hear the game and everything, because I remember to actually turn it on. And we're getting to the final stages of Mesa City. We'll show that mugshot who's the big shot of this town for real. It is very good. Thank you, Kay. I really appreciate it. Because honestly, otherwise, ow. Because <laughs> otherwise, Kay, I probably would have. I probably would have just, uh found some crackers or chips and just ate that. Which, I mean, not say there's anything wrong with crackers and chips, but, uh, I don't think they would have, uh, lived up to this, I I'll say. I think this feels a little bit better than some random crackers and chips. But don't worry, this isn't going to turn into noodle ASMR, at least not yet. I'm not that desperate for views. Because I feel like, uh... I feel like there is a YouTube channel where people would just eat ramen or noodles and do ASMR or... Mm, excuse me. No, bounce! Or just be channels where all you do is just eat. I am pretty sure that is a YouTube channel. I am not surprised at all. Mukbangs. Okay, yeah, that... That, uh, that sounds very familiar. That term, anyways. some more noodles. <sighs> sneaky, sneaky. Waiting. I'm sneaking. You can't see me. I'm sneaking. I'm not sneaking as much anymore. I'm just jumping. I think, uh... Ooh! I got both. No! No! Okay, I made it. Did I make that harder on me than I needed to? Maybe. Okay, let's see what I have and haven't missed. Doesn't look like I missed anything back there. Is everything just ahead of me? That's what it looks like. Okay, I'm 
getting close to getting them all. Eight, twenty-nine, and I looked and I saw. I saw that there was one more right here. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I could have broken this code in my sleep. The combination is five six five. Well, I wouldn't put mugshot as the type to make very difficult codes. I went the wrong way. Oh yeah, this will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Is that so? Would I also be able to have my Tostada Supremo with pork? I don't believe if we have had this? I don't remember. Is... Kay, do you remember if these are basically the taquitos that we had? Because, honestly, these sound really good. And apparently, you can customize them. You can choose to, instead of having it with pork, you can have it with ground beef. Because certain recipes do have that option in order to let you customize it. So that if, you know, you don't prefer pork, but you actually do like beef, then you have the option to not just be let down by the fact that you can't get it, or that you wouldn't want to get it. And just as my Stream Elements bot did, if you wish to try any of these, put in my promo code P-O-G-H-F-31044 for 21 free meals, plus free shipping. Oh, did you? I didn't even notice. Uh, let's see. We haven't made those. Okay. So it must have been something that... Okay, then we had something completely different, which is fair. That just means that it's something more to have. Two to tango. Here is the last stage of this world. And this is also a stage that it is a little bit different than the normal one. Oh, well, well, okay. Well, 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 look who just walked into my crosshairs. Yeah, Sly look who Cooper. just dra- who, look who the cat spots. dragged in. I was getting worried about you. I thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm has got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. Uh, he admittedly does not have the most, um... Will she? Oh, she will hit me. I wasn't sure if she would actually hit me. Okay. Well, fair enough. This is a level, or the kind of level, that they put in specifically in order to add tension. To remind the players that Sly is indeed a criminal. He is on the run from the police. So they put these levels in in order to, one, remind the players of that, but also, two, to break up the monotony of some stages with some actual action, where she is actually firing at you, and you need to be very careful, or else she will... She will get you. 
because she has some amazing aim in order to be able to curb her electric pistol shots. Somehow. How that is, I will never know. That's a classic thing. Running across the rope where people are hanging their clothes. Those poor people's clothes are just trying to dry them. It is fascinating, but it is also unfortunate the fact that, like, the goal of this game with speedrunning is not to beat. Ugh, that was close. To beat each level as fast as possible, it is to, unfortunately, skip as much of the game as possible. Though, well, that's unfortunate. Well, I got the checkpoint at least, so if I die, then. Halt, thief! Anyways, I'm gonna take another bite of food while I have a little bit of a lull. Did I miss any? It does not look like it. That is what I like to hear. I have four left. And there is a good bit more to this stage. Well, actually, no, there's not. Did I get enough? I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. Good thing I know Navajo code talk. Try five, three, two. Five, three, two. I'm gonna take another bite of food. <laughs> and three, and two. Technique. Nah. He used to make fake standoffs <laughs> of himself. Oh, I remember and this one. Guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. And inside of this, we also have the steakhouse style pork chops. I don't believe this is one that we've tried yet either. But from the looks of it, it has broccoli, which I wasn't a huge fan of, but. I will always try them again if they're made in a different way, just to see if that helps me like them a little more. But, this also has little potato bits, which I love me some potatoes. And let me tell you, they look like they're seasoned and cooked to perfection here. As well as a nice interesting sauce made out of minced onion and olive oil with some stock concentrate. It looks delicious, drizzled all over the pork. Now to show this off. <laughs> uh, this game is silly. But don't worry, we're not quite done with the level yet. He's destroying my platforms as I go. So I need to be careful. And okay. I just got a lucky charm. No. Don't please. I was really lucky before, but that's just unlucky. I got the lucky charm and I still die. Okay. Sorry. 
next time we get more, um, we'll be sh No! I didn't even get to keep that stupid lucky charm before. It would've, well, would it have helped me survive? I don't know. That helped me get there faster, at least. Thank you for actually grabbing onto it this time. Please stop destroying my platforms, Carmelita. You guys think if I flirt with Carmelita a little more that she'll actually stop attacking me? I got another lucky charm. Well, I guess better late than never. I want to do a thing real quick. Because I know it'll be a little before this. And now Carmelita is gone, forever, flying off on a balloon. And that is the final level. Looked like a slide. It looked like you were about to initiate a cutscene. We gotta go into Mugshot's mug in order to go fight him. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Would you look at that ugly mug? I am, and I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My X-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on it. I'm... Okay, you're a little late on that Bentley, but sure. Bentley, I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if you know what's going on, but. <laughs> what? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and, <laughs> and, and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. Right. Wait a second. I've seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow. Wow. You're a Cooper? You know that Thingus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joints, I, I feel, feel transgressed and, and violated. violated. Let's, Let's rock. rock. He is as big and as beefy as he looks. And yes, he does have guns. There is also zero explanation for how you damage him. So in order to damage him, you need to flip all these mirrors. And then flipping all these mirrors... Ow. Lights up all the crystals and hurts him and destroys his guns? But it's a good thing he's got some spares upstairs. I I wish I could explain what exactly was going on with that. Well, 
He's he's not the easiest to deal with. I just gotta jump. I just gotta jump whenever you hear the click. My beautiful gun is destroyed. <laughs> Good thing I got a spare upstairs. And that is fair. Did you need to go to bed then? I am proud. Uh, hang on. Pause. I got some nudes that I gotta get here. My noodles, they keep falling into my lap. If you need to go to bed soon, I will probably beat this guy. Maybe do the first level to get to the, uh, to the main hub of the next area. And then I'll probably end it there. But let's go ahead and finish this off. Let's take care of Mugshot. I tried to time the jump, but I couldn't. Are you serious? Yeah, admittedly, this is taking... I started later than I wanted to, and this is taking longer than I wanted to as well. And I think that's the last one. Okay, good. Please. Just take it simple and slow. I, uh, okay. I guess slow is not how I should have taken that. Down again. Good thing I got a spare upstairs. Good thing I got a spare upstairs. I'm sorry, Mugshot. I love you, bro. You are a fan favorite for a reason. Your boss fight, though, could use a little uh, work. Flip the mirror. Thank you. Get into the habit of jumping. And there we go. And now for phase three again. Which, let me actually do it. Please and thank you. I know that there is an exploit that I can do in order to make this really easy. We're getting, we're getting. You're standing on top of a giant crystal. I hope you know that. And now, the final one. This is impossible. A little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me? It ain't right. It ain't right. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, 
You don't want to be you. The mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus contained an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee, Tennessee Kid, Kid Cooper. Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Yeah, getting in was just a car. Having just it. missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. Inspector Fox too late to catch mysterious That was the end thief. of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. I figured out a way to get us to Haiti. And now he's playing video games. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to get started with this, and then I'm going to be ending things off soon. Here. Oh, get ready for this one. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. <laughs> Sly Cooper in vicious voodoo. Does my deep rumbling voice make it any scarier? Because I'll tell you what, it does not get any scarier from here. <laughs> does have one of my least favorite enemies, though. Oh, come on. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swab is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away, and where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a Moss, what did you get pipe. here? I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Do not go forward yet. Yeah, I almost did. Come on. Hit it. Thank you. One second. Hey, I'm sure you heard that, but I didn't want to, you know, make anyone else have to listen to it. Here we go. The rail slide. Get used to it. This place isn't really scary, but it sure is gross. And hey, now that we've finally learned how to swim, I don't lose a lucky charm. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ugh, I hate the mosquitoes aren't scary, but they are just hard to deal with. Okay, I almost messed up. Wee! I definitely could have skipped some, but if I skipped some, I would miss some clue bottles that I'm sure are coming up. And even here, we're starting to see enemies that are unique to themselves. Like, uh, this long hallway, which definitely doesn't have an enemy at the end of it or anything super scary. Budge, I'm scared! And then after you hit it, it splits off 
to, into a head and a body. Would you not be horrified if, you know, you started fighting something that was big and like twice your size? You thought you killed it. And then it just ends up just smacking you because it's still there and still coming after you as just a disembodied head and legs. These are probably the uh, goofiest uh, searchlight guards, and I do not like them. That's Miss Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of a tiki pedestal in the guard compound. There's a bad mojo force field protecting it, so you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those voodoo guards, and I'm warning you, they're made and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. They may work like a team, but, um, I don't think they do. And how many more? Here's another. Any more? Any more of ya? No? Okay. Good. I don't want any more of ya. Oh, goodness. I hope there I didn't miss any. Come up to get an overview of the area. Oh, I think I missed some, and I'm not happy about it. You've done it! The Mojo Force Field is down, and you can steal the key! Missing six. How did I miss that many? Goodness gracious. Did I miss that many? Are any more here? I'm gonna go back a little bit. Oh, well, one's here, so there's five that I'm missing. Oh, and then there's one here. You know, in hindsight, green on green is a uh, is a little tricky. How did I get over here? Do I walk? Oh, I jumped from there. Is there any possibility? I just want to say it. What do you want to say? Okay. This is probably my worst performance yet in how many clue bottles I got. <clears throat> the music almost sounds like War of Worlds tripod sounds. How so? I don't I don't know War of Worlds. I 
I guess I'm unfortunately gonna have to miss this one. So rumbling you here. Yeah, it it does have a very like distinct vibe to it, and it's unnerving at times. Not not even gonna lie about that. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. We're gonna get in here, and I think we might have a bit of a... We might have a word from Miss Ruby herself. I did play this as a kid. I played this a lot growing up. But, I would say that is about it. There is two entrances to the next area. I sent you the sounds I meant. Well, let me... I'm gonna mute this. And I'm gonna play it... from this. That that is pretty similar. I definitely have to give you that. Also, I apologize if that absolutely blasted your ears. Uh, I did not expect it to be so loud. If you're gonna blame anyone, blame Guy. <laughs> He is the one that sent the video. But... Uh, I am going to... Okay. I did a save state just to be absolutely sure that it saves. <laughs> yeah, no, you probably uh, gave everyone a right spook. But with that, I think everything is going to be ending off for tonight, unfortunately. I thought that I would be able to play through this entire game in one sitting, but unfortunately, I am taking longer than I thought that I would. And uh, I started later than I meant to anyways, which is very unfortunate. I will say, if I if we didn't need to get up in the morning, I would just go straight through and finish up the rest of this game 100%. Because after this world, there's one more world, and then after that world, there's the final world, which does not play like the others. I will say that. It is a little bit different. But it is the most story-rich part of it. And I'm going to say that... From the beginning of the game to this moment, I'm going to go ahead and go to just chatting, honestly. I'm going to save and quit. I'm going to go ahead and switch over. So, from what we've been playing so far, first off, I want to know what you guys think of the game. But I'm going to say that after we finish this world, the next world was written by someone completely different. It was not written by the... I don't remember who it was, but the person who wrote the first three worlds did not stay and finish writing the last two. And... You can tell. 
because the writing just overall feels different. But the person who wrote the last two worlds of this game is the same person that wrote the story, or at least headed the story, for the rest of the series up until Sly 4, which we don't talk about Sly 4. <laughs> but yeah, what did you guys think? Because any criticism you have for the game is going to be a direct attack against me. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I know that this game isn't perfect. I went, uh, I went on, a, I got a little bit, uh, flustered and frustrated at just the car level, which there's another car level later on in the game. So we can only imagine. It makes me feel bad I haven't heard of it. Honestly, the first game is fine. It's the second game that gets amazing. And I know that I'm just getting your hopes up and everything. The second game changes everything. And it's the first game here is setting up an amazing story to continue on for the next two games. And I am so looking forward to going through the experience and showing you guys it. Because this, I would have to say is definitely in my top 10 games. Maybe maybe not specifically Sly 1. Sly 1 has a lot of uh, rough edges. Sly 2 and Sly 3. <clears throat> I don't know which one. I would probably group them together, but they are definitely in my top 10 games. This series is amazing. But... I guess from there, if nobody else has anything else that they... If, if nobody else has uh, an opinion that they want to tell me about what they think of the game. It was interesting. I mean, you're not wrong about that. It is interesting. I know I keep hyping up how things are going to go, but I promise you, things are going to get so cool once we get there. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end things off here personally think burgers and fries will work well together. I mean, since we technically didn't get to a... Uh, <clears throat> since we technically didn't get the final uh, HelloFresh recipe when we collected the page of the Thievius Raccoonus in that first level, I might do that off-stream. I don't know. I'll have to see. I might just run that through whenever we do it. But uh, a recipe that I'm very, very excited to try, because this is a recipe we're going to be having sometime this week, is Firehouse Cheeseburger with fried onions, garlic potato wedges, and creamy ranch sauce. I love burgers and fries. If I have the option to, and again, I know Kay can attest to this, I will definitely get burgers and fries. That is my default if I don't know what I'm going to get. And if I don't want that, then I usually get uh, chicken. However, I am really excited about this because it's got Frank's hot sauce, Frank's seasoning, ground beef, the fried onion wedges. Oh my gosh, I love onion wedges, and I'm sure that they're going to be seasoned. They're going to be seasoned with oil, garlic powder, some salt and pepper. What's your question? And while you're asking that question, it also is going to be grilled with onions. Why are you wearing a chef's hat? Because HelloFresh sponsorship. I don't do most of the cooking, but at the very least, I help out. I mean, if we uh really have... Wait, no. I don't have a... I don't have a PNG for K. How dare. I don't know. Uh, hey, if you're still here, you wanna you wanna hop on with a OBS Ninja? Give yourself a chef's hat. <laughs> I know you're getting sleepy, and if you've already gotten off the computer, you don't have to. I just figured it'd be fun. Give you a sec. Okay. Should I go ahead and uh, call, or are you just going to call me when you're ready?
Okay. <clears throat> you do that, and I will be waiting in great anticipation. Legitimately, though, HelloFresh is a uh, is very nice. Hello. Hello. Oh, you are here, and you're wearing a chef's hat. Hello. I am. <laughs> I'm choking. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How have you been enjoying HelloFresh? What a great start. Hello. Give, give your uh, advertise HelloFresh for me on my stream. <laughs> Uh, that's not my job. <laughs> okay, but legitimately, what have you thought about it? Pretty yummy. Um, it's fun to make. Uh, it's a little overwhelming trying to do it on my own, though. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that would be the same but it for is anyone. What it is. And honestly, it's probably because you're essentially cooking for four people. Yeah. Um. Which, obviously, any time I can, I'll help. That's why I'm wearing the chef's hat. But um, if we start doing it again, then we'll do it for two people instead of four. And I'm sure that cuts down significantly on, a, on yeah. how much work it actually takes. Yeah, because I'd have less to cut up, at least. Mm -hmm. And peel, because let me tell you, peeling carrots is a pain. I can imagine. But either way, from that, I'm going to go ahead and end stream off here because it's getting yeah. late and it's sleepy time. So, yep, I am sleepy. Goodbye. And I have work at 7 a.m. So. Yep. Yes. Good night, nighty night. Say good night ever to everyone, Kay. Good night. Thank you for letting me join for not even a minute. <laughs>